Hi everyone, welcome to Daisy Love Art. In today's page in your journal, we're going to do messages in a bottle to your future self. This is quite a fun exercise and I'm going to give you some sentences that are going to trigger your creative juices just now. But first of all, get your journals out, get your paints out or your sharpies, whatever you're going to color in with and just draw a uh, bottle any which way you want because this is a message in, your, in a bottle to your future self. Um, so you can make it as big as small as you want, but you do want it quite big because you're sticking in quite a few. Um, well, hopefully, look, I have a lot of messages to my future self. <laughs> you might not have as many as I do, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm bossing this is obviously <laughs> I need a lot. All right, so what you're going to do when you finish, let your paint dry. I've done mine in watercolors today as usual because I just love my watercolors and they're quick and easy. But you can use whatever you want, any shape bottle. And then just get some colored paper to cut some strips to write your messages in a bottle. Now, why are we doing this? Because it allows us to uh, assess our life right now. So it allows us to work out what is working for us, what isn't working for us um, and just it pinpoints, uh, it highlights certain areas. But most importantly, it gives you a way of looking out for your future self. This is a way sending messages to yourself is, is, is like uh, looking out for your future self. Then um, once you have got your paper, you're going to think about your questions. Right, so here are some thoughts to uh, trigger your creativity. Um, think about your life, take a nice deep breath, just get quiet and think about what you're missing, what you'd like more of in your life. And then here are a few things that might, might help you on your way. So for instance, I've got uh, spend more time with loved ones. I have got uh, put more effort into your health. That's always a good one. We always want to do that. Take time, take more time out for yourself. So taking time out for yourself is, is like a must. We don't do that enough in our lives, in our busyness. Do more of what makes you happy. Remind yourself that the little things matter. Create special moments. I think creating special moments is important because we're always looking for the big happiness. And I think we need to focus a little bit on the small little happinesses along the way. Right, have more patience. Don't take life too seriously. Be inspirational to others. Save money. Set goals. Set your goals. Put your boundaries. Set more boundaries. Do you need boundaries? Do you need to say no? You know, or do you... Uh, do you take life ser too seriously? So maybe don't take life too seriously. All right. So, uh, worry less. Save money, I think I've said. Stay present. Be persistent. Stay persistent in what you want. So make sure that you, you concentrate and you're focused on what you want in life. Have more fun. Walk more. Run more. Do more exercise. Um, it's a, and show your emotions more. Often, I think in this day and age, people don't show their emotions. They just keep really quite closed in. So I hope these kind of things help. But, you know, you can put your own ones in uh, that are more obviously tailored to you in your life. But also think about it as supporting your future self. This is how you're going to support your future self. This is the advice you're going to give your future self. And what is going to be interesting is in a year's time, when you come back to this exercise and you have a look, at uh, what you've written, you'll probably find that subconsciously you've achieved all of these already. Um, and that is the fun part about it. Don't worry about these sticking up when you close your book. They're all going to flatten out. Um, just like the watercolor makes your page wrinkly, but it also flattens out over time. So I hope you enjoy this one. If you do, please like and subscribe. I keep forgetting to say that. Uh, if there's anything I've forgotten to say out loud in the video, it's always in the description box below. <laughs> All right. Thank you and have a fabulous day.